The Hanseatic League had proved to be a powerful alliance in medieval times, at one point covering ports from what would now be called the Netherlands all the way along northern Europe up to most of what is now the Baltic coast of Russia. But challenges from rising nation-states began to erode the capabilities of what was ultimately a collection of port cities under multiple different authorities. The League founded in the 17th century, and during this period of decline, some of the stronger cities began to enhance and enlarge their own naval forces as it became more and more apparent that they might soon be looking out for themselves. One of the most important emerging cities was Hamburg, and with piracy generally at something of a height, with the Barbary pirates reaching from the Mediterranean all the way up into the westernmost reaches of the North Sea, in the early 1660s, they began planning two large vessels, the wonderfully named Leopoldus Primus and a sister ship, Varpen von Hamburg. I suppose that might be Varpen von Hamburg, but eh, there you go. By this point, the Hanseatic League was in its final years. 1667 saw the ships ordered and the keels laid down. And in the same meeting as the final effective meeting of the League, 1669, the ship was commissioned. As a large three-masted vessel equipped with two gun decks and 54 cannon of varying sizes, Varpen von Hamburg was quite clearly a warship, and a fairly powerful one at that. But, as Hamburg wanted nothing to do with political entanglements that could lead it to involvement in a war, which in turn could lead to predation on its valuable merchant fleets by large organised navies, it was instead dubbed a convoy ship, basically a very heavily armed escort. Whilst this was something of a dodge, it was also technically accurate, as escorting Hamburg's merchants was exactly what the ship was supposed to do. Due to having to navigate shallow coastal waters, in particular those around the mouth of the River Elbe, the ship was constructed with heavy influence from Dutch warships, leading to a vessel with a very shallow draft, relatively broad beam, and rapidly narrowing hull above water to retain stability. As was the custom for the time, the for large and prestigious ships, she was heavily decorated, including a large gilded carving of the city's coat of arms on the stern, which has subsequently led to some confusion as some sources called the ship Wappen von Hamburg, with two Ps, which means arms of Hamburg in the sense of a coat of arms, in reference to the decoration, whereas in fact the ship is the Wappen von Hamburg with a single P, which also unhelpfully means arms of Hamburg, but in the sense of guns or weapons or armament of Hamburg, which is something more of an overt threat. Over the next 14 years, the ship lived up to its purpose, escorting large numbers of merchantmen on 11 voyages, nine to Spain, one to England, and once up to trading and fishing areas in the Arctic, changing captains about halfway through this period as the first captain, Holst, was removed due to suspected corruption and very definite insubordination. However, in 1683, whilst the ship was moored in Cadiz Harbour, a fire broke out in the bow of the ship and, despite the crew's best efforts, began to spread rapidly, helped by a wind that drove the flames along the ship and into the rigging. Despite a valiant and prolonged battle to save the ship, after five hours the flames reached the magazine and the ship exploded, taking 65 of her crew with her, including the commanding officer Admiral Berend Jakobsen Karpfanger, who was an internationally well-known and respected pirate hunter and had led the firefighting efforts from the moment the blaze had been noticed. Whilst that would be the end of the ship itself, its legacy would continue for quite some time. A replacement vessel of the same name would be constructed, commissioning only three years after the demise of its predecessor. This vessel would last 32 years in service before being decommissioned on account of needing extensive repairs, but instead of doing that, a third vessel bearing the name was built, coming into service in 1722 and marking a change in design. Unlike the previous two ships, based on shallow draft Dutch designs, this one was a deeper draft fourth rate based on a more British ship design. But this would only last a few years in service due to difficulties navigating the shallows, and it was soon turned into a floating battery before being sold on as an armed merchant ship, eventually replaced by a fourth ship that went back to the shallow draft design and was commissioned in 1740. Although soon thereafter, Hamburg ended most of its merchant convoys 
and this vessel would spend most of its years of service as a guard ship, being sold off in 1777 and marking the end of ships bearing this particular name. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have a comment or suggestion for a ship to review, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to comment on the pinned post for dry dock questions.